What's up guys? The truth about pink is Australians love pink. I was spending all morning downloading the full discography of pink for this event because I'm hosting a pink tribute show. Um, clearly I'm the best um, pink tribute in Perth. But anyway, so as I was listening through from one to nine, uh, number one was, um, I don't know if it was like the Get The Party Started, if that was the first one or if there's one before that or a few EPs. Either way, um, the first one, if you're my age and you're born in like the late 80s, then you're about, I think like, early high school when there's like get the party started on it and so like you know you're going to your friends birthday parties and um, that's the song that's playing so you have like a good association with that album and you're relating to her in that way you know there's other American artists at the time like you know Destiny's Child and things like that but I think culturally we probably didn't have as much in common with people like Beyonce you know they were much more private whereas Pink I think because she was like an oversharer that's something that a lot of Australian people relate with like you know tell it how it is and no sugar coating so then there's her next album um and she's uh you know I'm not dead which is like five years later and it's like I could imagine, and I'm. this is just my opinion, I have no idea, but I could imagine if she's like, you know, taken five years between studio albums, if everyone's like, oh, you know, her career is over, or is she dead, blah, 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 based on what they said about uh, Britney Spears in her documentary. So she's like, you know, suck it to the man type of thing. I'm not dead. She brings out this album and she's, she's even turned up the, level of sort of feistiness like whereas some other women may feel pressured to be more passive in like such a male you know this we're talking about like the early 2000s where uh you know it was a lot there was less equality back then i would think than there is now so then she brings out that and and then she's with kerry hart which we all know and we relate to him as well and you know most people like guys think that he's cool, girls think that he's hot. So then they get married and like that's interesting for Australians. Um, but then what happens is she brings out the albums like The Truth About Love. And the thing is by then we're all in like our mid twenties. And I know for a lot of my friends, they're going through their own divorces while Pink's going through her like fuck you phase with Carrie. And so a lot of the songs where it's like, <laughs> I love the video clip, she's like on the motorbike and she's like, you know, she's acting a bit sort of like out of her mind, like in hating men. And I think that a lot of us uh, could relate to how she was feeling. Um, but yeah, in contrast again to Beyonce, not that I'm comparing them, but just, um, you know, my own thinking of why Australians want to take her in as an Aussie is you know Beyonce was so private when Jay-Z cheated on her like the only thing we really heard about it was you know in the elevator when Solange like beats the shit out of Jay-Z whereas Pink makes a video clip puts it on MTV and it was like I remember it feeling like exciting to us like you know we get to ex we get to be part of her journey and she's so, you know within her own control she's like revealing that to her fans and so I think that that's quite endearing and I think that that would have been something that would be very very hard to do um but she doesn't talk about it just one-sidedly like oh you know fuck men she's quite open in you know the things that she has possibly done that have like you know been detrimental to her marriage so I think people that stayed married related to her people that got divorced that was their anthem for like becoming single um and then like her most recent work like trustful I don't know like by this age we're all middle age and I was like bawling my eyes out listening to some because like her dad has died and um you know she she was she had a tumultuous relationship with her dad again a lot of young women could probably relate to that 
Um, and then also, so she's got like trust for, and then she just talks about like this new level of depth and closeness to her husband, which I think even that those that got divorced might be able to relate to that, like, you know, on a family sort of level. Um, the other thing is like, I really admire her as a mother. Like I felt like she set like a really positive role model to other women around the world as to, you know, what's possible for, for you if you have a family, if you are, are a mother. Um, you know, she did 150 shows, I think, for the Beautiful Trauma Tour and she's on a stadium tour now. And then I think as well, just even if you absolutely hated her music and you don't like any of her songs, any person that saw like a, a clip or a reel of her live performances, you can't deny that on stage, you know, she's like our Michael Jackson, like she, she brings the acrobatics element to her live performances. And I remember I actually went to the last tour with a group of friends and I wasn't even that big on pink. I was just going with friends because I thought it would be fun. But I was so taken back by just how incredible she was on stage, start to finish. Like you really have to hand it to her. There's nobody that's in that category when it comes to live performance. The acrobatics, the live performance in the way of her singing. So like her vocal range live, when she's literally flinging upside down in the air, she still can hit the highest and the lowest notes. Um, yeah, I just think, um, and yeah, like when she makes mistakes, like I have seen videos where she's, you know, something's gone wrong on stage, her ability to just carry on and make do with whatever is the, you know, problem. Uh, yeah, I think that she probably would win the prize for the best. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm like forgetting someone really obvious, but I can't think of anyone who can... I mean, I've seen like... I saw Prince live at the O2 Arena. That was amazing. I saw Eminem uh, at Optus. I think he was amazing. And they all have their different things and their songs that mean a lot to me. But yeah, I just, I can't think of another live act that I have seen that can sing and entertain as well as she can. Um, so yeah, that is my wrap up. <laughs> That's my wrap up on the truth about Pink or Alicia Moore. And that is that I think that she is amazing and yeah tell me what you think in the comments what does what's your truth about pink what does her music mean to you or do you love it do you hate it let me know and i'll be at qt today friday from three till six this weekend i'm doing all private events so i won't be seeing any of you guys but i hope everyone has a great weekend